Hi, my name is Elron, and I'm the mind behind EasyGameVPN, and today I'm going to show you how you can use it. Once you downloaded our application, you simply start it by a double click, and then you should have this window after you successfully logged in. Please bear in mind that as well your email and your license key are all case sensitive. Best is that you copy paste directly the information that you receive in your invoice. Once you're logged in, you have four options available on the left side. EasyVPN, EasyFans, EasyFix and Socials. And I will explain in details what every one of them is doing. EasyVPN, as the name says, is the VPN tool which you're going to use to minimize the SPMM impact, be it in Black Ops, Modern Warfare, or where it works at best, in Warzone. Once you select EasyVPN, you will have all the package countries here available and bonus countries. Package countries are the countries included in your package, and they stay there. Bonus countries are so-called limited time available countries, which we provide on an occasion. For example, right now we have Moldova available as a uh, bonus country free of charge for everyone. Once you go back to package countries, you can scroll down easily and find all the countries available. Make sure that your mouse sensitivity or scroll wheel is not set to a high sensitivity, otherwise you will immediately scroll down below and you will not see all the countries in between. Each location has two different configurations, strict and moderate. Once you select strict or moderate and hit turn on, you should have your in-game location connected to the certain location with the appropriate net type. Make sure that you test as well the moderate type because we implemented in the past weeks some dramatic changes in the moderate configuration on our server backend and we see a huge benefit while using moderate, especially in Warzone. Getting back to the servers, you have a traffic light system to each uh, location available. Red is a recommendation from our side that you should not connect unless you have a good experience with this country, never mind what kind of time it is. Once you select a country, you can see the local time there on the right top. When it comes to our recommendation, of course, green is the way to go. But once again, if you have a good experience with, let's say, Cambodia, never mind what local time it is, then continue using Cambodia. It's not mandatory that you use always the green ones. Once you selected the country that you would like to connect to, hit turn on. After a few seconds, you should be connected with your desired location and you can start the game immediately and you will have a lower SPMM impact. We always recommend that you test the location for at least four to five rounds to see what kind of impact it has on yourself. Unfortunately, the data API for the stats are currently not available by Call of Duty and therefore we can't show you the lobby KD, but we've tested it with a third party solution, which is unfortunately against the TOS and can, might get, for example, my personal account banned. But this is a risk I'm willing to take to show you guys that this solution is working. From my personal experience, me being located in the southern part of Europe, for me works best Morocco, Nepal, Jordan, Kenya and Taiwan when it comes to Resurgence or Battle Royale. When it comes to Black Ops 6, for me works currently the best Nepal and India Mumbai. I personally prefer to play on the moderate configuration, especially in Warzone, but in case you have a good and solid experience with Strict, you should definitely stick to Strict. In case you're wondering what the number next to each location means, it's the current amount of players connected to this location. It's an additional indication for you that you can understand, okay, what are the most favorable locations at the moment in our community. EasyFence is our solution which literally lets you play on the physical servers in those areas selected. Unlike EasyVPN, which is only rerouting your matchmaking traffic, EasyFence is ensuring that you literally play on the physical servers of the locations that you selected. For example, if I'm located in Europe and I say I want only to play on Luxembourg, Italy and Netherlands servers, this would be the configuration that I would select and I hit activate. It takes like roughly one second until the activation is done. Make sure that when you finish playing that you always deactivate it. Also, if I'm located in Europe and I would like to play on North American servers, I can go ahead and say, okay, I want to play only on East Coast servers, which is due to the natural distance of, you know, South Europe and America, the wisest choice. If I would select West Coast, the ping would skyrocket to 180 and I would have continuous disconnects. So that's the reason I would go with East Coast, which is giving me between 100 and 120 milliseconds and it's still playable. In case you can't find any servers with EasyFans, remove EasyFans or select, for example, if you would like to play on the US from Europe out, Total USA, which would give you like the whole range of the USA. Or in case you are in America and you would like to play on Europe, you can select United Kingdom, Luxembourg, France and Netherlands, which are more close to the US. This is just to give you a rough idea. More information you can find, of course, in our Discord. Last but not least, in order to know which kind of game you're playing on, especially right now with Black Ops 6, you have to ensure that you selected the proper codex file. How do you connect to the proper codex? You simply double click here on the top and then you select the codex you would like to use to. Currently, until Warzone is integrated with Black Ops 6, 
and you would like to use the fence in uh, Warzone, you have to use COD 23 dash COD EXE. If you would like to use the fence within Black Ops 6, you simply select the COD EXE. After November 14, this information is depreciated and you should be only using COD EXE because then the integration is fully done. I often get asked, should I use Easy Fence and Easy VPN together? And my answer is mostly yes and no. This is heavily depending on what you are trying to achieve. At the end of the day, it's sufficient to just use EasyVPN because EasyVPN is responsible for the SPMM manipulation. But as I explained in one of my earlier videos, there is a SPMM regional log which at some point kicks in. So what I would recommend always is while you're using EasyVPN and you see that you have three, three, four, five, six good locations, you continue using only EasyVPN. In case it's getting more difficult for you, this is then where EasyFence comes into place. And I strongly recommend that you use EasyFence to a location which is not your location where you live in, but a little bit further away. And always make sure that you use at least two or three locations. For example, if I'm located in California, I would most likely select Texas, Missouri, Utah and Washington just to try it and see, okay, do I get better lobbies out there? This is just to give you an idea. And in addition, if you try to connect EasyVPN while using EasyFence on another continent, it will not work because the thing will so much skyrocket that you won't be able to find a lobby. Therefore, I always recommend if you try to play on another continent, only to use the EasyFence, not the EasyVPN together. In case it's working for you, that's good, but our general recommendation is not to combine both if you try to play across the continent. As long as you stay within your continent, it's perfectly fine to combine both of them. Easy fix. In case you're encountering issues with the game, especially high pings, you most likely didn't successfully disconnect it from your fence. Therefore, I recommend that you go and hit Reset Firewall. This option will completely reset your firewall to default settings and I recommend to reboot your PC at this point as well. If the issues are still persistent, you can still reset your network or fix the tap driver which we always recommend at some point. Speaking out of my own experience, I never had to do this until I installed another VPN. So make sure if you have another VPN installed that you remove the other VPN and you hit all three options. In case those options are not working for you, Please contact us either via Discord or via mail and I will try to help you as much as possible because I really want to make sure that everybody has the best possible experience while using Easy Game VPN and playing Call of Duty. And of course, socials. Here you can find our Discord link where we announce all the kind of maintenances or any kind of promotional activities as well our Twitter link where we also announce all promotions up and running. That being said, I also want to share with you that I'm really convinced that everybody should have a decent experience when it comes to Call of Duty, especially with the SPMM implemented. And therefore, we cut the prices for our 30-day packages to $6.99. Make sure to grab your package immediately because this is the best offer for the most effective VPN out there.